Welcome back to Z Code System, and today we're going to talk to you about the alternative sports to bet on with Z Code System. Now, as you know, a lot of the top sports leagues around the world have suspended their seasons or even in some cases canceled their seasons due to the pandemic of coronavirus that has reached many corners of the globe. So a lot of sports bettors are looking for alternatives and ways to make money and profits on sports and sports betting. So the sports betting industry is being hit hard right now due to the lack of sports that are going on. But if you do look hard enough, you can find plenty of sports still to bet on right now around the world. And we're going to talk to you about a few of those with Z Code Systems alternative sports to bet on. Of course, guys, if you're watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe to our videos and our channel, and you will be updated all the time or every time that we post a new video, and we would very much appreciate you liking and subscribing to the page. And of course, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and zcodesystem.com to get all the updates when we post them there and to get the picks and predictions that we also post for the various sports that we cover. And if you're a member, you can use the VIP page and all of the tools when you make your picks and to help you make educated sports betting picks to win more profits. So that said, let's take a look at some alternative sports to bet on right now due to the current pandemic going on with the coronavirus. Now, as I was alluding to or saying earlier, major sports leagues are canceled for now, and those leagues include the NBA, the NHL, the top soccer leagues around Europe, including the Premier League, La Liga, the Champions League. All of the top leagues in Europe are putting their seasons on hold, and we've seen Major League Baseball postpone the season, the uh, first pitch by two weeks, uh, Major League Soccer as well has paused the season for 30 days. The Six Nations Rugby has uh, put a hold on things with the hopes of playing later in the year, possibly at the end of the summer. And we've also seen Formula One, Formula One and MotoGP uh, make cancellations to the opening races of the season. Uh, MotoGP closing, uh, canceling the Thai GP as well as the Qatar GP and hopeful that they can kickstart things with the Argentine GP coming up soon. And also Formula One canceled the Melbourne GP this weekend, but they also hope to continue on in a few weeks. And uh, the latest news on Formula One, if you are a Formula One better or watcher, is that this season will not have a summer break as they typically do, and they will have a more condensed schedule for the races uh in 2020 to complete those by the end of the year. So right now uh, we're seeing a lot of um, countries, including Italy, where they're hit very hard. Um, the U.S. right now uh, with a state of emergency, a lot of different countries closing off things, locking down, and sports has been a casualty of uh, those lockdowns. Now the good news is Hopefully, in a week or two or, or maybe a month, all of these sports leagues can get back to uh, running as normal and the seasons possibly be condensed or uh, lengthened to carry on. And that's, I think, the best case scenario for these sports leagues. And um, I think also in the cases of Formula One and MotoGP, as well as possibly Major League Baseball, there is hope that the peak in the coronavirus will occur and they will then be able to start as things begin to get better. Now, again, that's hopeful thinking. Unfortunately, we don't have these sports to bet on and a lot of professional bettors or semi-professional bettors are now without ways of making a living and, and profits as well to supplement their incomes. Uh, but the good news is there are alternative sports right now that are continuing to go on in parts of the world that uh, bettors are able to or will be able to in the next week or so to wager on. And let's take a look. So guys, if you think about it, since the global playing field has been reduced due to the sports being canceled, 
it means that the betting pool for the remaining games and matches that are going on will only become bigger. So in other words, this provides more opportunities to win bets because of higher odds. And especially when it comes to the underdogs, you're going to see some excellent odds coming up. Now, the good news is that you don't have to worry about the calculations required to find the more profitable games because our Z Code Sports Trader and the Z Live apps will automatically help you find those. Now, so as you can see here, I've got a short list. Yesterday I, I, on the blog, I wrote about five sports, but I've added a couple today uh, when we've made our video uh, here on YouTube. And you can check out these sports for yourself and get more information uh, online as well as on our blog and get up to date on betting on these sports. And these sports can be followed on the Z Code System website where you can get great picks and predictions. Uh, so as you can see there, and we'll go down the list here, is Rugby League Super League. Now that is uh, the league in the UK. Uh, rugby League is different than Rugby Union if you're not familiar with that. And in my opinion, it resembles a little bit more of American football uh, with the way that the game is played, uh, with the, the segments of the game, if you will, uh, the way that they're played, the way that it's played. It's uh, uh, compared to Rugby Union, a more northern uh, sport in uh, England and uh, also for all the North American sports betters there is a team that plays in the rugby league uh, super league from Toronto the Toronto Wolfpack who currently uh, spend part of the season in the UK playing games and then they do their home games uh, in the other half of the season uh, and next season for anybody that is interested in learning more about rugby league there will be a, another team uh, lower down in the divisions from Ottawa and soon a team from New York joining um, the Rugby League Association here in the UK. So uh, definitely a sport to bet on and wager on. And those games are going on this weekend, March 13, 14, and 15 uh, in England. Last night I actually watched the, I believe it was Salford and uh, the Salford Red Devils taking on Wigan. So uh, uh, interesting, great sport to bet on and uh, an interesting game. Uh, uh, to watch last night. Um, also, if you are an ice hockey better, if you love the NHL, well, then you can watch the or watch and wager on the KHL. Now, the KHL is the Continental Ice Hockey League <clears throat> that takes place in Russia. It is very high level ice hockey, and most hockey experts consider the KHL to be the next tier down from the NHL. And some of the uh, experts on the KHL have already been reading on, have been saying how uh, a lot of NHL betters, professional betters, are now immediately turning to the KHL because that league in Russia is going to be continuing as we go on here with the pandemic that is going on with the coronavirus. So definitely check that out, the KHL. Now, while the soccer leagues, the top soccer leagues in Europe are um, suspended at the moment, you can find soccer being played right now in Turkey, South America, and Australia. And yesterday I did see um, a few of the leagues in the Middle East continuing play. Now the Middle East has is is been hit by the coronavirus. Qatar, for example, has been, I believe the Bahrain League, the Bahraini League uh, was playing yesterday. And so you are able to find some of these um, second tier, if you will, soccer leagues in the world um, playing now, of course, in South America, such as Brazil and Argentina, those are definitely high level leagues that are playing there. And last time I checked also, uh, in North America, the Mexican league, the Liga Mex is still scheduled to play. So definitely check those leagues out and, uh, you can wager on those, uh, Australia, as I said before, still playing as it stands as of March 13th. Now we also sticking with Australia. The AFL, the Aussie Rules Football League, will be kicking off on March 19th, 20th, and 21st. That will be round one of games. Now, if you aren't familiar with Aussie Rules Football, this is such a cool sport to check out. It's a mix of rugby, soccer, and even basketball at points. Uh, this is such a fun, fast-paced game, and it's definitely something that if you've never seen that you should just check out to watch for how crazy it is and how tough you have to be to play it. Um but it'll be kicking off on March 19th and another sport to look forward to, to wagering on. 
the first round of AFL games are going to be played behind closed doors to empty stadiums. Uh, no word right now on if any other le- or any other weeks of the season will be played behind closed doors, but uh, something to keep track of next week when those games kick off the first round of the AFL. Now, as we move on, horse racing. This is something that uh, shocked me a bit yesterday. Here in the UK, I watched the last day of the Cheltenham Festival, always a big race meeting here in the UK, uh, the Cheltenham Festival with the biggest race being the Cheltenham Gold Cup. Um, Lots of punters out yesterday for that. Uh, They ran with fans in attendance. And at the moment, the horse racing is going to continue in the UK. And as far as I know, in the US as well. And we've got the Kentucky Derby coming up in May and the Grand National next month in April coming up in the UK. Grand National, such a big race here. And uh, definitely there's going to be millions and millions of pounds wagered on that. And uh, I'm sure some of you watching right now will have bet yesterday on the Cheltenham Gold Cup, which, of course, is such a big, big race uh, in Europe. Now, as far as I know, March 14th and 15th, the horse tracks around the USA are going to be having races as usual. So there's always horse racing to wager on right now as it stands. So if you're not a horse racing punter, maybe take a look at that to uh, help you make some profits while these other sports are down. And if you're a horse racing punter, then it's going to be business as usual for yourself. Uh, Basketball in South America, uh, so far so good as it stands. Uh, We've got games going on. So take a look at those and, and you can find that on your sports betting websites, whichever sports betting websites that you prefer. But uh, as it stands, some basketball going on in South America and the MMA UFC, UFC being the biggest mixed martial arts promotion in the world. UFC still planning to hold all of their events Uh, this weekend. I believe they are in Brazil and that is supposed to be behind closed doors. No fans in attendance, just fighters, which, you know, I have to say behind closed doors. A lot of these things have been quite exciting um, about. With, uh, you know, you get to hear the athletes and the coaches talk. So, you know, it's, it's quite fun to watch uh, these sports when there are no fans there. So you'll be able to wager on that this weekend. And there, uh, the UFC's London um, event that's going to be in a week or so, that is still on. And right now, the last thing I heard about the upcoming show, I believe it's UFC 249 in Brooklyn. That is still not sure if that is going to go ahead yet, but uh, as that could also go uh, go on in an empty arena. Now, the thing is, guys, you don't have to worry, and 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 we don't have to get too uh, down about the sports being off right now because there are still things to wager and bet on. So, the thing is, if you are going to bet on these sports, the key is. You need to do your research. You need to do your reading up on these sports. If you're not familiar with the KHL, if you're not familiar with Aussie Rules Football, get as much information as you can so you can make educated, wise wagers. That is, of course, what you need to do with all of your betting. But if you don't know these sports and you want to make some profits, that is one of the keys to doing that. Now, hopefully, we will only be in this situation where our major sports or the sports that you typically bet on, whether it be the NBA or the NHL, hopefully this will only be a uh, short-term thing. Hopefully in four weeks, you know, three weeks, we'll be back to normal and you'll be able to wager on all of these sports. But you know what? With the Z Code system community, you can get through this with us and we can help you and you can bet on all of these great sports that uh, are alternatives to the traditional sports that you wager on. Of course, check back with Z Code System for updates and to get top sports betting picks and a whole lot more with the Z Code System community and using the VIP club and the VIP picks there, guys. So don't fret because we're going to get through this together and you're going to have a great set of alternative sports to bet on this month and coming up in the next few months if it happens. So, guys, good luck with whichever sports you choose this weekend, whether it be rugby, whether it be horse racing, or or something else. And we'll be here for you with Z Code System. We'll We'll see you soon, guys. Don't forget to like 
and subscribe to the page.